Hello Skylarks and Swallows, how are you today? I hope you're having another lovely day. Now today I thought we could read the story Space Tortoise. Shall we read the blurb to find out what it's all about? So on the back here we've got our blurb and this is what it says. It says, once in an old rusty bin, in an old rusty playground, there lived a little tortoise. Life is good in his cosy bin, except he often wonders where all the other animals are. Maybe they're up in space. Do you think they'd be up in space? Hmm. And so the little tortoise's journey begins. Ah, so we're going to find out about this tortoise's journey to find some friends. Now, I've been doing a little bit of finding out myself. I've been finding some facts out about tortoises to share with you. So before we read the story, I'd like to read you some facts that I found. Look, I found all of these facts. I'm going to read you four of them, my four favourite facts. Okay, so the first one is a tortoise's shell is made up of 60 different bones, all connected to each other. Wow, I didn't know there were 60 bones in the shell. That's a lot of bones, isn't it? Did you know that tortoises have extremely strong mouths, but they don't have any teeth? I didn't know that. So instead of having teeth, they have horny tight beaks. Now, tortoises are what is known as herbivores. So, some of you that are interested in dinosaurs might have already heard that word before. So, a herbivore is, a is an animal that only eats um, plants and vegetables. So, they don't eat any meat. So, a tortoise um, might eat grass, ferns, flowers, tree leaves and fruit. And finally, tortoises can live a very long time. In fact, they can live up to the age of 150 years old. Wow, that is a long time, isn't it? So 150 years, that's amazing. Okay, right, are you ready to start the story? Space Tortoise. Once, in an old rusty bin, in an old rusty playground, in an old empty park, there lived a little tortoise. The tortoise's bin was cosy, warm and dry all year round, even in winter. What more? Could a little tortoise need? What do you think he would like? Mm. But the tortoise never saw any other animals in the park. Sometimes he would search for them in the long grass and on top of the slide and under the swings. But he never found them. One night, the tortoise was gazing up at the sky. Look at those candles glowing up there, he said to himself. That must be where the other animals are. I wish I could join them. But how could a little tortoise get to the top of the sky? Do you think these are candles? Or maybe there's something else. The next day, the tortoise found an old book in his bin. It was filled with pictures of space rockets. So that's what I need to get to the top of the sky, he said. But where will I find a rocket?
the tortoise peeked out of his bin. And there, right in front of the moon, was a rocket. The little tortoise picked up his candle and set off across the park. Do you think that's really a rocket? So look, he's got to go through the sand pit and this pond as well. Soon the tortoise came to what he thought was a desert. It stretched far into the horizon, silent as a whisper. He made his way across the dunes, past broken statues and crumbling castles. The tortoise came to what he thought was a great wide ocean. The wind had whipped the waves into a furious storm. The tortoise was afraid. But there was no turning back now. He found a boat and set its sail to the wind. At last, the tortoise came to the farthest shore. There was the rocket right in front of him. It towered above the little tortoise, too high to climb. But he had an idea. The tortoise searched through a bin until he found what he needed. Then he sewed and cut and tightened and twisted. The balloon glowed like a tiny star as it carried the little tortoise up through the night sky. Oh, so he made himself a balloon. The tortoise floated through the clouds right up to the rocket's tip. But there was a problem. He couldn't see the cockpit anywhere, or the boosters, or the fuel tank. strange rocket, said the tortoise. I'm sorry to disturb you, said a voice, but this isn't a rocket. Oh. What is it really? The tortoise turned around. On the ledge was a tiny mouse. What are you doing up here? said the tortoise, taken by surprise. I'm looking at the stars, the mouse smiled. Beautiful, aren't they? The tortoise frowned. Stars? You mean those lights up there aren't candles being held by other animals? No, said the mouse. There are no animals in the sky, just stars. The tortoise hung his head. Oh dear, and he turned away to go home. Wait, said the mouse. Why don't you stay for tea? My house is right there, see? The tortoise couldn't believe his eyes. Behind the clock tower, on the other side of the park, there were hundreds of little animal houses, each one lit by a candle. In fact, the candles look just like stars. Ah, so the tortoise managed to find some friends, didn't he?
on his journey, which was really nice. Okay, well I hope you all enjoyed that story. Now before we go, this week um, we've had our song, haven't we? Um, just reminding myself of the song, Hickory Dickory Dock. Okay, so would we like to sing it? If you don't want to sing it, then you can just listen. Um, but we have three verses, don't we, in this one. And that's what I was just reminding myself about because I think I said on Monday, or was it Tuesday, the days are all rolling into one at the moment, that the um, the verses were quite new to me as well. Okay, are you ready? Okay, hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock, the clock struck one, the mouse ran down, hickory dickory dock, tick. Hickory dickory dock, the bird looked at the clock, the clock struck two, away she flew, hickory dickory dock, tick tock, tick tock, hickory dickory dock, the dog barked at the clock, the clock struck three, so you and me, hickory dickory dock, tick tock, tick tock, yay, well done, very good. Okay, well I hope that you've enjoyed the story and the song today. Um, tomorrow is Friday, but tomorrow is a special day. It's a bank holiday tomorrow. Um, so it's a, it's a bit like a long weekend really, isn't it? So I hope that you have a lovely day tomorrow. And I will be back to read you a story on Monday. Okay, I will see you soon. Have a lovely weekend. Bye.